Okay, hi, how are you doing? How are you? How are you? Um, so I was just talking about how we, how do we change the view when we click on this camera here and the window and, and it becomes kind of smaller. And so I want to show you that while we're in, in the camera mode, we can come up here and right click in a blank space on this little menu in the 3D view, 3D viewport, and we can right click, right click with our mouse, and then we can do a vertical split and make another window with that. And then notice the difference when we're in, when we're not in the camera mode and when we are, there's a little bit of a blacked out area. And so earlier I had you set up your, your, um, your view so that you had view locked to camera to view. And that way we could get on our camera view and turn. But if we click this off, we can zoom out here a little bit on this side. And we can see our camera. There's our camera right here. I click the numpad, the period on the numpad. And we'll zoom into that a little bit more. And we are looking through this, this lens, this camera, when we click on the camera, we toggle this. And it's sometimes it's easy to just space out and forget. But that's when we hit render, when we come up to the top menu, we click render, render image. We're gonna we're getting a render basically through or the camera like so and the other way that we're rendering in in the viewport render viewport image we're getting a render but it doesn't say render on that one I mean it does but it says <laughs> way down in the menu it hides so really they should have a button up here side by side <laughs> one that says um, render and then one that says viewport render <laughs> so that gives you a little bit of an idea if that helps it helps me just going over this that the cameras back there and when we're zoomed in on the camera or when we're we've selected it and we're we're looking through that camera we can zoom in and out and stay focused if we turned off if we turn this off in the options view in this hidden little menu we select this off what's going to happen is it's just going to pop off and we're going to be like so we're positioning our, our image to render our, uh, to make a render, to make a, a, an image to save. And we're also going to be rendering the, the animation. So um, it's interesting. So, okay, what we want to do when we are on, I'm going to toggle this back on under view is, camera lock view lock lock view lock lock camera to the view so that helps us and we hit an end to close that menu on my end on the keyboard and then now you see our window is around the edge that we're, we're basically working in um, we can say view 
we can do it right here in the object mode view view and then come down to cameras and say frame camera browns and then we can also view cameras and that makes it so that we can bring the window out farther because let's see over here got view cameras and it makes it smaller so we really only have two options with that right there but sometimes it can seem pretty small all right so cool on that and then there's a whole whole lot to learn when it comes to um editing the other camera camera property settings and also in the format and exporting the resolution of what size the image will render out to right now we're in the output and we're rendering out to um, 19 by 20 by 1080. And there are some auto selections just right here. If you're familiar with any of these, I'm really not. Um, but if you're doing film and movies, we're just doing game design here. You can just pick one of these settings. Um, so if you know you're going to be rendering out to a screen that's a specific size and these, and you know these, um, that's good. And then you can just go on the fly and do, and set it to what you want. Um, we can pull this out and get back on the camera, and then the it'll move the camera like so. So this is the X and it's moving and then we can zoom in more and then I'll just do a quick little overview of this since I'm not an expert and then we can go now we can go render render image and it's a square and if we want we, ha we haven't set up our coloring for the, the render yet over here, but we're going to, we're going to paint. And then um, we could just go view, viewport render image. And then also there we have the square image. It's more of a square. So, okay, that's all on that. I just want to share that. All right, see you in the next lessons. And I hope you're having fun and I'm praying over you and praying over all of um, those people who are watching our tutorials and and jumping into learning about game designing and um, character creation and building characters for games. Woohoo!